Tell me about this day with the page now turned from training camp and preseason, and now you get ready for a game here and the vibe that you uh, sense out here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've still got a lot of work to do. If, if today's practice is any indication, we've got a long way to go. We've got to get better effort out of our defense going to the football. Uh, there's a lot of things that, uh, that we left out there today. Okay. Tomorrow's another day. Yeah, tomorrow's <laughs> another day. Uh, tell me about going through the cuts. I know you said it's the worst day in football or of the year in football and um, going through that process and just getting, you know, getting behind it. Yeah, I mean, it's good to get, I mean, it's pro football. I mean, they know what's going in, you know, but it's never, never fun to have to do, but that's part of our job. And so now we go on and we've got our football team chosen. And uh, these are the guys that we've, uh, that we've elected to have uh, in our room and, and uh, look forward to playing a, a very tough Saskatchewan team. You look, oh, it's been uh, focused on obviously being a better run defense team. I guess you get whatever improvements you've made, you get tested this week with, with Oled, who's one of the best, one of the probably the hardest runners to stop. Yeah, look forward to having, you know, a guy like himself, you know, I mean, and, and they have a run first mentality. So, I mean, it's going to be good to, to go against a guy like that right out, right out of the gate. Look at the Dylan Mitchell's game and caught a touchdown pass and uh, looked good for the short amount of work that he you know, was able to, to get out there. And uh, tell me about, you know, his training camp. I know there was one week he didn't do very much, then working with the the B's and maybe the C's and then now finding his way back with the A's. Yeah, I mean, he did a real nice job. I mean, everybody knows how talented Mitch is and uh, now it's just a matter of having the consistency that we need uh, to play winning pro football. Is that just like a veteran that you can slide back in there that, that, that kind of understands the system? And Yeah, he's, he's talented. I mean, uh, you can ask their corner whether or not he's talented or not. He's a very you know, now it's a matter of, you know, it doesn't it doesn't take uh, talent to show up on a, on a daily basis, show up and do the same things over and and over and over. I think that corner would say yes. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> uh, you sentimental guy. Or, uh, a lot of guys from 2015 are going to be back here for uh, for the game on on uh, Saturday. I know you keep in touch with some of them already, but it'd be kind of cool, I imagine, for you to see a lot of these guys. Yeah, I mean, again, it's you know we've been going against each other the last couple of years, and you know we, uh, but. My God, I mean, as long as you know, as long as we've been around, I mean, there's a lot of guys on every single football team. But yeah, I mean, it'll be uh, it's, it, like I say, it's a very tough Saskatchewan team. Uh, I mean, Michael Riley back in town. Uh, <laughs> what he always says about the stuff you used to throw him at during <laughs> practice. Uh, what's it like to kind of have your your former starting quarterback in town and get the? I know you're busy, but you get the kind of rub shoulders again. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, both he and Ricky, you know, we we were around each other a lot, won, won great cups together, you know. I mean, you got a lot of really great players, uh, but yeah, I mean, Mike Riley all, will always hold a special place. All right, Thanks, thank y'all.